New Weapons Channel Today, the Russian Strategic Missile Forces celebrate the 64th anniversary of their formation. On this day in 1959, in accordance with the post Novlini established the post of Commander-in-Chief of the Strategic Missile Forces, established the General Staff of the Strategic Missile Forces and other bodies of military administration. This day defines the date of formation of the Strategic Missile Forces, a new branch of the Armed Forces. Today, the Strategic Missile Forces are a branch of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation, which is the most important component of Russia's strategic nuclear forces. They are troops of permanent readiness, on combat duty, in readiness to fulfill combat missions by order of the President of the Russian Federation, the Supreme Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Russia. The Strategic Missile Forces have more than 60% of the carriers and nuclear warheads of the Russian Strategic Nuclear Forces, together with the high capabilities of the combat control system, which enables the Strategic Missile Forces to guarantee the fulfillment of their assigned tasks, including nuclear deterrence. In recent years, the delivery of launchers for new missile systems has made it possible to ensure a steady pace of rearmament of the grouping, both in silo and mobile basing variants. Russia has seven launches of intercontinental ballistic missiles planned for 2024. In total, the strategic missile forces of the Russian Federation have conducted more than 20 ICBM launches over the past five years as part of flight tests to control the armed forces of the Russian Federation. It is planned to arm mobile complexes of the strategic missile forces with hypersonic maneuvering units. At present, only the latest avant-garde silo-based complex is equipped with such blocks. New Weapons Channel Today we will look at a comparison video of how much faster the new Russian intercontinental ballistic missile Sarmat is gaining speed than its predecessor Voivoda. Compared to Voivoda, the new Sarmat is capable of hitting targets at virtually unlimited ranges. According to NATO classification, the Russian Voivoda is called Satan, and the Sarmat in turn is called Satan II. The first test launch of the Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missile took place last year at the Plasetsk Cosmodrome. The training blocks arrived at the target area of the Kura test site in Kamchatka. The missile is unique in that it can accelerate to several speeds of sound and can follow a changing trajectory. Because of this, the Sarmat can deliver warheads along trajectories that make it very difficult for even advanced missile defense systems to destroy them. After completion of the testing program, the missile system has already started entering service. In the Uzhur missile formation in Krasnoyarsk Krai, preparations for the lead regiment have already been completed. The Sarmat in the Russian armed forces is intended to replace the Voivoda missiles. It is capable of hitting targets at long ranges and is guaranteed to overcome any existing and future anti-missile defense systems. The new missile has a wider range of payloads in terms of the number and types of warheads, and it can also carry gliding hypersonic units. The new weapons channel reminds us that the missile system was developed at the Mikheyev Rocket Center. Serial production is carried out at the Krasnoyarsk machine building plant. New weapons. Under the leadership of Commander-in-Chief of the Russian Armed Forces Vladimir Putin, exercises of strategic forces Grom-2022 were launched. The response to a possible nuclear strike on Russia was practiced, and the work of land, sea, and air strategic deterrent forces was tested. A massive nuclear strike by strategic offensive forces in response to an enemy nuclear strike was practiced. The training involved. The Yars Mobile Missile System of the Strategic Missile Forces, whose intercontinental ballistic missile struck the Kura test site in Kamchatka. The strategic missile submarine Tula of the Northern Fleet also launched the ballistic missile Sinova from the waters of the Barents Sea. Two 2 95 Mega Siemens long range strategic missile carriers carried out launches of air launched cruise missiles. The tasks set for the Russian military were fully accomplished and all the missiles reached their targets, confirming their assigned characteristics. American authorities were warned about these exercises. The Pentagon also said that the US sees no signs that Russia is planning to launch a nuclear strike. The steadfast new NATO nuclear deterrence exercises are now underway with the participation of 14 countries. NATO noted that the maneuvers are planned and are not connected with any current events in the world.
I would also remind you that previous exercises of the Russian Strategic Deterrent Forces were held five days before the start of the Russian Special Operation. Russian President Vladimir Putin was also in charge of the exercise. As part of the exercise, the military attacked naval and ground targets by launching Kinjal, the Caliber cruise missile and the Zirkon hypersonic missile. Sinova and Yar's ballistic missiles were also launched at the Kura test site in Kamchatka. New weapons. Under the leadership of Commander-in-Chief of the Russian Armed Forces Vladimir Putin, exercises of Strategic Forces Grom-2022 were launched. The response to a possible nuclear strike on Russia was practiced, and the work of land, sea, and air strategic deterrent forces was tested. A massive nuclear strike by strategic offensive forces in response to an enemy nuclear strike was practiced. The training involved the Yars mobile missile system of the strategic missile forces, whose intercontinental ballistic missile struck the Kura test site in Kamchatka. The strategic missile submarine Kula of the Northern Fleet also launched the ballistic missile Sinova from the waters of the Barents Sea. Two 2 95 Mega Siemens long range strategic missile carriers carried out launches of air launched cruise missiles. The tasks set for the Russian military were fully accomplished and all the missiles reached their targets, confirming their assigned characteristics. American authorities were warned about these exercises. The Pentagon also said that the U.S. sees no signs that Russia is planning to launch a nuclear strike. The steadfast new NATO nuclear deterrence exercises are now underway with the participation of 14 countries. NATO noted that the maneuvers are planned and are not connected with any current events in the world. I would also remind you that previous exercises of the Russian Strategic Deterrent Forces were held five days before the start of the Russian Special Operation. Russian President Vladimir Putin was also in charge of the exercise. As part of the exercise, the military attacked naval and ground targets by launching Kinjal, the Caliber cruise missile and the Zirkon hypersonic missile. Sinova and Yar's ballistic missiles were also launched at the Kura test site in Kamchatka. Weapon. The Yar's intercontinental ballistic missile was fired at the Kura test site in Kamchatka from the Plesetsk Cosmodrome. The training is carried out as part of a nuclear deterrence exercise on behalf of Russian President Vladimir All missiles are targeted targets, confirming the specified characteristics. The tasks that were set for the state military have been fully completed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Goodbye everyone.